Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty huge news when it comes to PlayStation 5, where we're actually now finally seeing reports on the fact that we're now seeing huge, huge numbers that have been ongoing as of right this second, but as well as of what was all going through September. So throughout these next like few weeks, as well as also the prior months, we have had some of the biggest and largest stock availabilities we have almost ever seen right now for the PlayStation 5s. Now, for me, this is something that's actually insanely cool to go and see, because obviously, See, the more consoles they make, the more consoles they ship, and the more places they have it available means, number one, more accessibility for everyone out there who wants their consoles, and number two, the fact that I can maybe go and take a day off about talking these stupid restocks. But I do want to keep on trying my best, especially throughout the holiday season, to help you guys on out. But all these reports and all this information coming out here from Sony is absolutely phenomenal, and I love to get to go and see it and talk about it. So we have a lot of things to go talk about, a lot of good things to go and discuss, and a lot of analytics to go through too as well, and you want to what? Keep it up Sony you've had a lot of bad PR in these past few months especially but if you keep on making good consoles and helping folks out here where you don't have to go on a fresh Twitter and different websites like Amazon 2 in the morning you want to know what I'll give you a little bit of a pat on the back so let's go talk about all this stuff and make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on and for that PS5 give it with that Twitter link down below follow the Twitter and Twitch if you guys want to and the target Amazon links down below and of course, a Twitch too, if you guys want to follow, let's go dive on in. So as we've been mentioning, like we've been seeing some very, very good numbers in regards to the PlayStation 5 shipments. So as of right now, we're getting statements and official sources, and we will be doing a little bit of a quick dive into on the Xbox and Nintendo, because these assets are also available. But this is for the PlayStation 5 shipments that are now up by 400%. 400%! This would have been nice, maybe like, you know, in March of like, earlier on this year, but Jesus. So this is all just in time now for right before God of War Ragnarok comes out. But as well, what after God of War Ragnarok comes out, we also have Black Friday and Christmas, which ideally, if we can kind of maintain this momentum, we'll probably have a very, very good holiday season. And maybe just maybe we could be done with all these like trackings. We could have a lot more stock readily available, always on Amazon, Target, in stores, Best Buys, Walmart, or whatever it may go and be. So... Right now, though, I do want to go highlight this. We'll talk about a little bit more. This is only in the United States, although a very large majority of my viewers are in the United States. Although I know some of you guys are in Canada, Australia, Europe. If you guys are from a different region, comment down below. So, as you guys can see, the shipments of the PlayStation 5 consoles in the United States in September, which you know, usually takes a lot of time to get the information because September just ended, had a 400% increase year over year, according to a financial analyst. David Gibson, senior analyst at MST Financial, now just shared a graph on Twitter, which we'll show you guys in a second, showing the imports to the U.S. per month from June 2021 onwards, with a huge spike during last month. We also did go have some most recent information that we showed up in a prior video, discussing the fact that a lot of the shipping costs from, like, say, China to America, which, as you guys probably know, China does do a lot of manufacturing, especially with electronics and all of that, has also decreased in the price of cost of shipping. So as of maybe a few months ago, it was on like the highest peak we have ever seen in terms of shipping costs. So that's just not only consoles, although consoles are definitely a big thing for Xbox, to Switches, Playstations, whatever, but as well also fracturing things like laptops, computers, TVs, whatever you want to go and say, clothing, whatever. So we're now actually seeing, once again, pricing going down, which are almost getting close to pre-pandemic level. They still need a little bit more longer, but we do see the downtrend finally going and kind of equalizing out. And I think that's a fantastic thing because everything, once again, is becoming a little bit more normal. But it also means going back to the shipping prices, you can now go and afford to go and send four more consoles and four more different things at a relatively cheaper price, which is why I'm still upset that Sony themselves have actually raised the prices of the PlayStation 5s because, well, everything is kind of going down. It's kind of like you have a temporary spike and then you are like, well, we're going to keep this and maintain this price forever. But that's a sub different subject. But when it comes to this stuff, it does seem like the amount of stock available and PlayStation PlayStation 5s available for everyone has been increasing upwards of that 400%. So Gibson added he believes that some of the stock will now be going towards the launch of God of War Ragnarok. And now this also ties into the fact that we had a really good restocking month last month and so far this month too, but as well, they are also going to be probably stockpiling stock, which is also even more impressive to see. 
uh, mainly because if we have God of War Ragnarok coming out soon, there will be a lot of attention, a lot of third-party people are probably going to get back in the scalping and botting game, especially for those next few months, and that also corresponds with November and December, and then hopefully, like I said, ideally, after all that hype is all down, maybe like January 1st, we can finally go and be done with these restocks, or at least be able to go take them quite a bit more like, uh, lightly. But a big thing to note is that just because we had a huge amount of stock does not mean that they're still not available. So like I said, we might still even have some places like Walmart. They may have allocated stock for another 500,000 consoles, maybe for some really big Black Friday deals and God of War deals. Or same thing with them allocating it for PlayStation Directs. Some of these actually might have actually been allocated for that Mono Warfare 2 drop that's been ongoing for quite some time. So these also could just be consoles being built up for that. So these says, and all these will be a lot for the God of War Ragnarok. Ragnarok is the first party, next first party title for PlayStation, and Sony will obviously want to sell a lot of consoles too as well. So I'm not sure if we'll have any bundles planned up or not. I'll probably imagine like normal consoles, normal games, and then releasing God of War bundles in the future. There's also the holiday season as well, which is coming up too, as I mentioned throughout this video well. And since it hasn't been able to go meet demand for quite some time, it does go to show that they need these issues to be solved. But supply chain issues do seem like they're kind of being smoothed out a little bit. There's also been some other pre-planning things as well, as we mentioned in a prior video and even in this article, that the PlayStation VR 2 has actually been now being mass produced right now for the re eventual release and they are planning to produce at least 2 million units of it by March which means that they want to have like a huge stockpile that ideally and hopefully not many people will have to wait for their actual VRs if you guys are going to get a VR headset let me know in the comment section down below but it would make a lot of sense as I mentioned we're probably going to be anticipating up and watching quite a bit of uh, stuff like we're gonna be waiting to go and see this we're gonna be waiting to see how much stock they have we're gonna wait to see the price points we're gonna wait to see how many consoles they release if there's gonna be bundles for god of war but all this kind of seems like it's being pre-planned especially in how hard it was in the pandemic in the first like year or so of these console launches so the figures as we can see over here from gibson saying lots of reports of improved playstation 5 supply in the past few months which has been great to see but there's been no data until now Import data into the U.S. confirms that Sony Interactive PlayStation shipments in September were 400% year over year. Yes, you read that right too as well. So let's go and kind of show you guys the graph itself with all their information that they're trying to go and highlight and show where. You guys can kind of see some more of these prior years. Uh, forgive me if I'm dumb, but this actually might have probably been maybe 2021, I'd imagine. So you guys can see there's like a few little imports and like they're kind of, they're consistent. Like it kind of goes up, kind of goes down. Uh, some months like December, January, which were kind of surprisingly low, but you'd probably imagine this is kind of like stock for both of these. Like I said, just because it shows up doesn't mean a company is instantly selling it. It just means that it's there in the country and probably has to be allocated to a big central warehouse and then DV down up to like a Walmart, Amazon, Best Buy, etc. But as you guys kind of go and look in these past three months, these are the highest stocks amounts we've ever seen. Uh, maybe, I mean, obviously, maybe like launch week might be slightly different, but in terms of this, like this, like past two year cycle, look at this, just looking in July, which I don't even remember that being that, that good, but I did see stock flowing around. This is the highest month in literally years. Then little in August, which I do remember was bumping up quite a bit more on the stock wise. We were seeing a lot more proper drops and restocks and I think even in Walmart drop, et cetera, et cetera. I actually am in September, but then we also had had September, which at this point was also in the seven, you guys see the seven millions as well now there might be other various things to tie on in because as you guys know sony is a bigger company that does more than just playstations although that is a very big portion of their company but just looking at this graph you guys can go and see how insane these restock numbers have been and how good playstation is doing these numbers are phenomenal uh looking through the imports as well it does seem like a lot of this pandemic issue and supply chain issues are slowly going and calming down and this is what we want to keep on seeing when we see these numbers we see these inputs of live actual numbers not just like seeing through vibes or twitter vibes real life numbers these are some of the most important things we've had a chance to go and see so it does kind of seem like this stock shortage although it's not done yet and i will still say these next like two to three months as i can mention maybe until around July, uh, january 1st will still be tight. We have a lot of people for Black Friday. I'm sure there'll be big deal, deals and promotions. And as well, same with the holidays too, with Christmas, people are going to be wanting to buy consoles, God of War, etc. But as of right now, if they can maintain like a very large margin of some of the highest stock availabilities ever, that will be insane. And to kind of really quickly go through this too as well, they did have some similar numbers as well with Xbox to not just fully get rid of them, because you can see these imports are also kind of bolstering on up. 
with August and September too as well, being one of the highest things for Xbox imports. And as well, if you guys also look at the Switch, funny enough though as well, is actually going down, which is kind of surprising to me. So it looks like Xbox and PlayStation have a big correspondence on their new shipments to the United States, while it looks like Nintendo is actually falling off compared to how they were these past two years or so. So we'd love to hear your thoughts and comments on that down below. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. We have the Twitter link down below for the giveaway, Twitter and Twitch stream to follow. And of course, check the Amazon links and Target links down below. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching the first place.